<laughs> What's up, guys? I got to do the. Uh... Yeah, I'm not gonna do that the whole <laughs> review this time, guys. Um, I'm just gonna do a uh, quick review on my NECA Terminator 2 Judgment Day figures. Um, one on the left, we have the T-800 Man or Machine, Arnold Swollen fucking pecker fucker and on the right we have the T-800 um, Pescadero Escape uh, you guys aren't familiar with the movie or don't remember the Pescadero Escape is the uh, mental hospital where Sarah Connor was being held and hence the word uh, escape so uh, without further ado um, I will show you guys the first one like I said, NECA, uh, solid uh, plastic packaging, you know, very simple, straight to the point. This is the Man of Machine, um, Arnold Schwarzenegger, um, without the leather jacket. Um, you know, this is where he uh, cut his flesh from his left, uh, right below his elbow, cut his skin off to show Miles Dyson um, <laughs> that he was a fucking Terminator, pretty much. Um, he said, he takes it off, he goes, listen to me very carefully. And then, you know, he pretty much uh, shows Miles Dyson, uh, tells him about everything that was going to happen, and, you know, how to prevent it. Like I said, uh, this is the back of it. I don't read this crap, but um, the actual picture of the figure here, it's a lot different than what the figure looks like. Like, the face sculpt on the picture is way better. Uh, there's more chunks and flesh of muscle and shit on his arm. That's a lot better. But again, that's just the artwork. So I have them all now, except for the endoskeleton in the Cyberdyne Showdown uh, Arnold. I can't find this one. I can get it on eBay. I know that. But I try to find these in my area. That way, um, there's no shipping. You know what I mean? It's pretty much half the price. I can get this one anytime I want. But I decided to get this one. Um, there's the first uh, Pescadero Escape. Again, it's the same Arnold. You know, um, he's got glasses on. He has his shotgun. That's a little far away. All right, guys, I uh, got him out of the box. Um, we'll start first with the um, Man of Machine Arnold. Again, a uh, very nice job NECA did. Um, there's one thing I'm going to point out on these figures before I even get going into their, uh, whatchamacallit, I'm trying to adjust the lighting here, guys, Bear with me. Oh, boy. Is the color of uh, Arnold's t-shirt. So, um, as you can see, it's hair is a real, like, light gray with a slight green to it, as with the... Sorry, I keep messing up with the Pescadero Escape Arnold. You have a black under t-shirt, which I don't get because this is, uh, again, supposed to be the same movie. And then you have the final battle damage Terminator, and he has a dark gray t-shirt underneath. So I don't know why NECA would... Um, completely change this guy's undershirt when he's supposed to be the same character from the same movie you know same you know I just don't get it but uh whatever NECA we'll see what the um Cyberdyne the Cyberdyne showdown Arnold which I need to get let's see what type of shirt that he has okay we're gonna go right to the man or machine Arnold very fantastic looking figure. Head sculpt is phenomenal. He's got a ball jointed head, just like them all. Um, his arms, they do rotate 360. They come out, up and out. Um, there's no rotation and no elbow articulation whatsoever in this guy. I know it sucks, but you know, NECA tries. I guess they they, they don't want to put it there. But his endo arm does rotate like so, so you can put it in any position. The actual uh, endoskeleton hand will rotate also, um, which is pretty cool, so when he holds it up to Miles Dyson, he goes, he spins it around and stuff, he's like, listen to me very carefully. And that's Arnold for you. So, like, I don't know 
how you would want to pose him. I'll probably just have him something like that, like showing it off. I don't know. I can't really remember the actual movie, how he shows him, but I think it's more like this. Um, he does come with a handgun. Looks like a 45. Again, this arm is just out. Uh, rotates 360. He dropped his gun. Leg articulation, it is a NECA figure, so there is none there. He is a statue from the waist down, as usual. He does have a little rotating on the thigh area, which is stupid, I don't get it. Um, but it only applies to his left thigh. So only his left thigh has spin. Uh, stupid. Uh, his feet, his boots do rotate. Actually, this one wow, uh, has a rotating at the around the calf muscle. Wow, Necker, you guys fucking suck, dude. Uh, left boot does not. So, I don't know what Necker's uh, problem is. I mean, why would you put articulation in just fucking one leg? I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense to me. You know, it's like, how would you want him to stand? Like, are you going to have him, like, turn his foot inwards and turn this one outwards? I, I don't get it. I don't know why they do that, but I guess that's... Just something that they fucking do. I just knocked down the rest of the Arnolds. Again, I would have liked to see this Arnold posed a little better. The arm is fucking gimp, and I don't fucking like it. Maybe I mean, it has it does have a swivel. I just noticed here, right above, right below the shirt. But it, then the muscles don't line up with the shirt, so it looks completely fucking retarded. Let me tell you. Again, I'm gonna bash this thing right now because uh, I feel that. You know, they could have did a fucking better job on the articulation. Very poor on that. Uh, Prescadero escape. His arm uh, rotates 360. Um, I'll take the gun out, which is very hard to put in. Yeah. Uh, head rotates 360. Sorry, I don't to keep fucking knocking you over. Um, ball joint. This this head sculpt is very very good. Completely movie accurate to Arnold Schwarzenegger. You know, with the glasses on, it just completes the character. This is the closest you're gonna get in Terminator figures to Terminator 2. Uh, you know, oh, what am I trying to get at here? Uh, he keeps fucking falling, dude. Sit down. Uh, as close as you're gonna get to the T-800, what he looks like in the beginning of the movie, and minus, you know, all the the bullet holes, the, the back of him. He's got numerous, numerous bullet holes in the back when he was covering John Connor. Come on, John, come with me if you want to live. But overall, this figure is phenomenal. I mean, it's really, really good. Um, he's also got the, uh, the left leg fucking rotating thing, so you can put his leg backwards if you want. Um, and he's got the same left leg uh, rotate at the calf. Fucking retarded. Uh, like I said, his arms, you know, this one actually has articulation, which is pretty cool. Goes out. Normal articulation for um, a figure in his upper arms. This figure is uh, fantastic. And then, you know, if you guys wanted to compare him to the battle damage, exact same height, you know. It's just... It, it's really uncanny the closeness to Otto Schwarzenegger as this figure is. I mean, it's really, really good. Um, so yeah, there's my three Arnolds. And I obviously have the Part 3, Terminator 3 Arnold back there, but that has nothing to do with this. But that's these three guys. Um, I'm going to end up getting the Cyberdyne Showdown Arnold soon. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the review. Any questions, just let me know. I mean... There's not really much to these, they're just display pieces, and that's all they're basically going to be. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Come on! We need to get the fuck out of here! Yes, we do. We got to get out of here. I need a vacation. Listen to me very carefully. Watch this fucking video, and then go to sleep, alright? Uh, Arnold Swollenberger signing off. Bye!